Good morning and welcome to the video for Thursday, May the 14th. This is going to be the homework video for third grade uh, covering the lesson that we started yesterday on describing the sides of polygons. So to start with, uh, for number two, we are looking at the dashed lines here. Those are going to be perpendicular. Um, so I'm going to put PE for that. For number three, we have intersecting. For number four, we have intersecting. For number five, we have uh, perpendicular. And for number six, we have parallel. Uh, for number seven, which shapes appear to have parallel sides, um, uh, shape A does, shape C does, and shape D does with the top and bottom. So A, C, D. Um, the next one, which shapes appear to have perpendicular lines. Uh, so perpendicular lines are going to meet uh, at a 90 degree angle, so that would be shape B and shape C. Um, some examples of perpendicular lines inside or outside the classroom. Uh, we could use the floor at corners. Um, square table or desk. Um, and actually we could use our math book because our math book would be rectangular if you look down at it from the top. Um, if I were actually in the classroom and I took this out of the case, I would be really close to having perpendicular lines with my phone because it's mostly a rectangular shape even though it's rounded. Actually, um, this wonderful box of Reese pieces that I've been snacking on while I've been making videos today. Um, that box would also be made of uh, lines that could be said to be perpendicular as you look at down from the top of the box or from the side. And I didn't mean to do that. What I did mean to do is go ahead and scroll over to our next page. Uh, so for number one, how many pairs of parallel sides? So uh, in the future, you would see them marked and they appear to be the same. So we would see it marked like this to indicate that all four um, sides are the same length and we would still have two pairs of parallel sides. And so for number uh, two, um, A and C are going to be parallel to each other and B and D are going to be parallel to each other. Uh, for number three, um, the name of this polygon is going to be based on the number of sides it has. It has five sides, so that would be a pentagon. For number four, we are looking at how many angles greater than a right angle does this shape have. This would be our angle that would be greater than a right angle because these are both a right angle and this one would be smaller. So we would have one obtuse angle, which would be the name for an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. Uh, for number five, how many line segments does the shape have? So starting from this corner, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so this would be an octagon, even though it's not a stop, shine, stop sign shape uh, that we'd be used to seeing for that. And the fraction that names the shaded part would be one sixth for that. So I hope that helps explain all the answers to the homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom or you can ask your classroom teacher. Again, I think this is probably an easier lesson as far as the concept that we're working with. So hopefully we don't have any uh, confusion after this. We will be using this idea as we go forward uh, with this particular chapter and we will use it a lot um, as we do similar types of things in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. So hopefully this makes sense for you. If not, please feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, we will have a new lesson on Friday, and so that uh, lesson will come out at 8 a.m., and the homework video for that will come out at 6 p.m. Friday. So have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.